Hey guys, so finally Apple intelligence is here after a long wait. Finally, the wait is over and finally the iPhone 16 lineup makes more sense. So if you were holding on iPhone 16, now you can buy iPhone 16 because now is the perfect time as finally Apple intelligence is out for specific iPhones. In this video, I'm going to talk about a lot of different things. I'm going to address different issues. I will talk about the performance, battery life, new features, lot more. So make sure to subscribe. Starting with the very first thing is the people who are using iOS 18.1 RC update, you will not going to get update. 18.1 RC will become the actual public update. So you don't have to update. So if you're looking for the update, you will not get update because the 18.1 RC is actually 18.1. So you guys will not get update. Before talking about anything else, I make a really cool wallpaper pack named as Shapes. It is the version one. This is just my first try. Wallpapers look really clean, quite decent as you can see. There are 10 wallpapers that are available. Link is given in the description. Go and check out this wallpaper pack now back to the video now there are a lot of new features and i will divide these features in two different sections so there are features that are available for every other iphone and there are some features that are available for specific iphones so in the first uh, section i will talk about all the features that are available for every other iphone and in the second section i will talk about um, all the features that are available for the specific iphones also, I will try to timestamps down over here. So if you want to switch between timestamps, you can. And well, let's begin this video. Let's begin. Before um, updating to the 18.1, make sure to watch the video till the end. Or you can also switch to the performance area because there are a lot of surprises over here. I will talk about that in the end of this video. But without any further delay, let's talk about the features. Let's begin with the features that are available for every other iPhone starting with the very first one is definitely the call recording so call recording is available now you can call record your um, uh, calls um, over here on the top there will be an icon of call recording I did a couple of demos of call recording so that videos are available on my channel once you call record your call records will be over here in the notes application also you can view the transcription of your calls so i did call recording demos that videos are also on the channel you can check out that but it's a simple feature that was in android for years now it is available in the iphone it can be a game changing feature for many other people now let's talk about control center there are a couple of changes in the control center starting with the first one is over here now there are separate toggles for connectivity so if i go over here add a control over here and go into the connectivity section over here there are separate toggles for um wi-fi airdrop satellite personal hotspot a lot of other stuff going on quite useful also this grouped toggle is a bit changed if i tap and hold this area is quite different from the 18 point zero so it is a small change but quite a useful change being very honest with you guys since the separate toggles are out i'm using the separate toggles as you can see and they are more easy to do i don't have to tap and hold and go all over, over there i just can do simply by this so there are some, uh, le less steps over here so quite uh, quite useful if i go back to add a control again over here there are more toggles for my wrap so over here there are level and major toggle available in the control center quite a change also when i go to the settings over here into the section of control center now there is a reset control center button also available so many people trying to do a lot of different stuff and after messing up it was quite hard to go back to the default version but now there is a reset control center button also available quite a useful also there are new sleep apnea notifications available in the health app so if you wear apple watch or any other apple watch basically not any other watch you will get um sleep apnea notifications again only with the apple watch also when you go to the calculator over here let me go to the calculator over here now the history ui is changed 
the history UI comes from the bottom as you can see and with this now there are swipe feature available where you can copy and delete this is better implement of history because these swipe features are quite useful also when you go to the messages over here over here now in the keyboard section emojis and stickers are in one section in the recent and emojis are in bigger size as you can see the search emoji bar is more curved now being very honest i don't like this change i prefer the old one but this is what it is if you like this change let me know in the comment section below also now there is a notification count available so if there are notification from same application multiple notifications you will see a count over here as you can see there is a notification count so it depends upon how many notifications are there according to that there will be notification count quite a useful also the people who use apple music i unfortunately cannot use apple music because it is not available in my country but the people who use apple music now they can share music directly to tiktok that can be a quite a useful also people with the iphone 16 camera controls now camera controls also include selfie option again quite useful for the people who are using the all new latest iphones now there are few small changes that are for every other iphone so when i go to the settings and i go to the accessibility over here face id and attention has slightly different icon colors are different eye tracking icon color is also slightly different when i go back from here go to display and brightness the demonstration of light mode and dark mode includes now a new wallpaper of ios 18 in the 18.0 it was old wallpaper of ios 17 now it is changed also now you can add multiple apple accounts on your phone so you can switch them between switch between them quite easily also when you are in the um, tinted icons mode over here for example this one now your watch is transparent looks really cool but for some reason i'm not into tinted icons i like i like being simple this is what i personally prefer what do you prefer do you prefer dark icons or light icons let me know in the comment section below now i want to talk about the features that are for the specific iphones now these features are for iphone 15 pro iphone 15 pro max iphone 16 lineup a complete lineup and these features are related to the apple intelligence and siri so yes there is a new siri new animation so siri is improved a lot the new animations look dope something this is how your siri will look like quite useful i don't know why the new siri is not at least apple can add the animations to the other iphones but they are not there also there is a lot of apple intelligence features so there is a new feature that is called writing tools you know you can proofread rewrite and do a lot more stuff in your notes in your messages in your mail and you can also you know um, summarize different notes you can in mail you can rewrite mail you can you know make mail look professional make your um, email look sound um formal something like this a lot more going on over here with the help of apple intelligence also writing tools are available in the messages also the ai apple intelligence is available in the photos that can make search more easy and you are able to create a lot of different sort of movies using the apple intelligence the highlighting feature is if there is something distracting in your photo now you can remove that thing just like this one so this is one of the highlighting feature of the ai also you can summarize different sort of websites that can help to save your lot of time also in the writing tool the logo of apple intelligence in the writing tools now has apple pencil also apple intelligence icon and siri icon in the settings now include dark mode so these are the few changes that are available for the specific iphones but there are a lot of changes that are available for every other iphone but 
everyone is excited for the apple intelligence but it is also coming only to six different iphones um that is a situation i don't like because i also want to put my hands on on the apple intelligence but i cannot for some reason anyways now it's time to talk about the battery life and the performance and believe me or not it is very important section because Geekbench score just shocked me um if i go to the Geekbench application over here i ran a score i got 2330 on a single core on 18.1 as you can see and 5383 on a multi-core now this is quite low than the previous one previous one was 2037 and 5759 so in the multi-core there is a big difference there is almost 400 point different so i ran the test again and after that i got even shocking results 2255 on a single core while 5002 on a multi-core now there is a difference of almost 700 points more than 700 points so that is quite a shocking situation i'm not sure what is going on but in day-to-day -day usage i don't feel any sort of issue um i feel that really good also these rules are based on 18.1 rc because this is 18.1 rc so definitely this is not my final because whenever ios comes out it takes a couple of days to get stable so i will bring a real world test video by tomorrow so make sure to subscribe the channel for that video and after that i will be able to talk about this update in a much better way also let's go to the settings and let's see one thing i missed is the geek pen score i'm really really sorry go back over here go back over here gpu benchmark also shocked me because it is 20390 although previously i got 21356 so something is going on i hope i get a good performance but i got lowest scores ever i think it is um closer to the average one slightly better than the average but it is way um poor than the previous one so something is going on let's get into the settings let's go to the battery section over here let the battery starts load okay so i'm not gonna cover more days because i'm definitely gonna bring a real world test video you can subscribe for that that will be coming tomorrow over here i used my phone for around 85 percent as you can see and i got screen on time of almost seven hours now over here i used my phone for around again 80 percent you can say six hours 41 minute over here i used my phone for 100 percent and i got eight hours 10 minute so if i see the battery life battery life is quite decent but many people are complaining about the battery life so i did a video which can help you to improve the battery life that video is also available on the channel go and check out that video there are issues with the battery draining being very honest and like i don't like battery draining is happening in this update but i don't face any swear sort of um issues with the battery life for me battery life is quite decent but definitely it is just out this result is based on 18.1 rc so i will definitely make and bring another video in which i talk about the results of 18.1 battery life so make sure stay tuned for the real world test now i talk about every other thing in this video concluding this video um yeah it's a quite a good update decent update but most of the features are not available highlighting features are not available which is quite a not good thing battery life promise is decent but this is not my final words i will do a real world test and bring another video this is all from this video and i will see you in my next video until then take care peace out